Do 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 you load up the map Okay, I should finally get this working now. Third time lucky. Hopefully this works. Well, it's working. It's doing something. Right, third time lucky. Hello everyone. <laughs> uh, this is an actual attempt at uh, streaming. Right. Welcome back to Jurassic World Alive, where it's the after. It's been a few, fair few weeks since the last update, the 2.10 hybrid update. Uh, plenty of new hybrids, no new regular creatures, unfortunately. But as you can see in the bottom, we've got three brand new creatures to f to create. I've uh, got plenty of supply drops to get cracking, so let's just do that. Now, has to be said that uh, you may have noticed a little bit of a purpley cloud. A purpley theme, should I say. Uh, that's because. Jurassic World Alive likes to do this at uh, this time of year. It likes to turn the map spooky. As you can see. Purples, blues, darks. All very delicious. Ah, I've hit the limits on the uh, sanctuary toys and foods for the uh, regular boxes. And I've hit them for those as well. Okay, we've got plenty of strike towers to play around with. Uh, let's go check out the creatures that we can now fuse. I've had these creatures saved up for a while, uh, just so I can uh, get back onto streaming again. Uh, can have a quick look at the my team, my roster. I uh, got the Trichosaurus up to 25, and just got the Gripposuka. Can't exactly remember the name. Griper, the Griper Lith, <laughs> the big crocodilian one, uh, just got that up to 24. So yeah, money is being spent, not real money, uh, obviously, <laughs> uh, in-game money. So, look at the creatures we can collect. We'll start with this one, because this is... Come on, come on, you can do it, come on. Push. Very good push. There we go. The Compasso Carlos. This is the uh, unique that I was aiming for before the update. And... Man, this was, this was a long time coming. <laughs> there we go. Compasso Carlos. 265. DNA. So let's create it. Look at the cuties with the sticky out bits on the sides of the head. Yay! Salamandry compsognithesis. Now, I don't want to rate the app, thank you very much. I've already done that. Should know this by now. Anyway. See, so look, got plenty of compsognithesis left over. Got no, got so much diplocalis left over. So, what have we got? We've got cunning strike, got hop and mock, restricted group distraction, alert scurry. Swap and distraction and absorb. Plenty of abilities, plenty to play around with. Resistances, 50% stun, uh, which could go in, the, in, in anyone's favour. Uh, 33%, well, one third uh, rend attack. Reduced damage, 33. Speed increase, 100%. So this creature, well, yeah, this creature's speed cannot be reduced. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, look at the base speed, it's 127. That's very... that's... and... I'm just quoting numbers at the moment, but let me tell you, that is fast. So, let's read the about. Some DPG members call this flocking hybrid the Arrowhead, for obvious reasons. Make sure to keep the Comps of Carlos in your quiver as this tiny cunning creature is especially useful against other flocks. <laughs> so there you go. Comps to Carlos. Long time coming. Mr. Sunshine says, hey, hey, my dude. Hey, hey to you too, Mr. Sunshine. Thank you very much 
for jumping on board, saying hi. Uh, yeah, had some uh, teething issues uh, with this. Uh, basically, because I'm trying out a new thing, which I'll talk more about in a, in a future stream. Uh, but, turns out the new thing couldn't deal with uh, the overlay of Twitch over the power of Jurassic World Alive. So, sticking with the fun. <laughs> How's my day been? It's not been bad. It's been a relaxing day. Bit of a day off today. So, yeah, not got a lot to do except make more bite reviews and make uh, make uh, more streams and, make, and yeah. Ah, Silly Twitch Mobile. You are right indeed, Silly Twitch Mobile. Good to hear. Well, thank you, sir. How's your day been? More importantly. <laughs> and uh, whilst we wait for James to reply, let's check out some of the newer creatures that we've been able to uh, fuse. First of all, we get to this weird thing. <laughs> Don't know what else to call it. It's a hybrid between the... Uh, between one of the giant sloth creatures and the Nesutoceratops. They call it the Megalotops. Let's create it. Let's see what it looks like. It's epic. Because, that, that's, because that's the category. Megalonix, I think, the parent creature. Look at this thing! It's It's got it's got fur. It's got fizzy fur. It's got scales. And, yeah. Kind of looks a bit demonic. If it wasn't for the uh, fuzz. Floof! It has floof indeed. <laughs> I'm trying to think what it. It looks like something. Definitely looks like something, but I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> been alright, thanks. Been sorting out my heaps of Lego all day. Just got tired of it, but just in time. Well, let me tell to you, Mr. Sunshine. I may have some Lego planned for later today. Yeah, what do you think of that? <laughs> okay. Mind you, having said that, I've got lots of Lego planned. And I've, I've currently taken up half the couch with uh, the current unboxed Lego that I, that I have. <laughs> uh, but, I want to, but I want to try and do something small today. Uh, yeah, because uh, later on, because later on, uh, especially this month, hopefully by the end of the week, I'll be able to do a big one for a specific movie that's coming out in the month as well. Mine was all mixed, so it's now all colour-coordinated in bags and boxes. That's the... Well, when you've got loose Lego, that's the best way to do it. Absolutely. And when you have little bits and bobs of Lego, you know what you need to do. Stick your hand in and get that hand feel. Mmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, Megalotops. Before we get too distracted, we've got Determined Strike, we've got Distracting Impact, we've got a Camouflage, as all these uh, big sloth creatures have. Uh, we've got a Cautious Rampage, we've got a Stunning Alert, so it's good, so it's a good uh, stunning creature. Uh, armor Pierce Encounter, and a Camouflage on Escape, which is something new. That's shaking things up a little, little bit. So, that basically means... That basically means... Camouflage on Escape? Okay. Camouflage is when you camouflage your creatures so hits will be reduced or can even miss. Um, but on escape, I wonder if that means if the opponent escapes, because if you make the escape and then camouflage, that makes no sense. Interesting, interesting indeed. Resistance has got swap prevention and speed decrease. Uh, they're, they're, they're okay. They're <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, speed decrease, 75% chance of a speed decrease, which can be very handy if it's uh, one of those uh, damned... Uh, can't think of the word. I'm already tired. <laughs> swap prevention. Chance of a moment swapping this creature is often reduced. So, this creature has got a chance to stop other players from swapping out because... As the Gaming Beaver has pointed out, a lot of the mechanics of the fight, the combat abilities, uh, tend to be based on, these days, tend to be based on uh, creatures' abilities to swap out and swap in, 
and have buffs or create debuffs upon swapping out or swapping in. So, so the swappability seems to be the big thing at the moment. It seems to be the meta. Where to find? Wednesday. Mega Little Boss. <laughs> yeah, I've tried it. It, it. it doesn't work if you're on your own. Alright, let's read the about. Unlike other giant ground sloths, Megalotops lives alone in deeply wooded areas. Unique species of moss and algae grow in the underfoot of this mysterious creature, which blossoms into beautiful flowers once their seeds reach the forest floor. Well, at least there's something beautiful about it. <laughs> Just looking at this thing again. I know what it reminds me of now. It reminds me of the koala. I mean, granted, a koala doesn't have horns, but that nose thing that the, I think in, yeah, the combination of the parent Megalonyx, there you go, you can tell that's an ancestor of the sloth, and the Nasutoceratops, it makes this look a bit koala-y, I think. But that might just be... Anyway, that's the Megalotops. An epic creature, um, but we also have one of the new uniques, a Forurex. This also, this uh, immediately looks very interesting. <laughs> yeah! And apparently I got signed out, so I'm signing back in again. Thanks, Google! Y you're doing good work. Oh, look at this demon bird. Looks like it's about to kill something. <laughs> okay, what have we got? Daring strike? They're all very daring. Critical sidestep. Cautious cunning rampage. Lethal rampage and run. That could be very handy. Rampage and run is has been a well-established uh, move in Jurassic World Alive, but a lethal rampage and run. That you don't just do a big attack. You do a big attack. Uh, upon uh, you do a big attack that can cra that can crash through shields, invincibility shields, and it looks like it can cause bleeding as well. It can do the uh, yes, the, the, the damage over time effect. So that it, lethal rampage and run. That's a big That's a big mix up. Mix up. What's the word? It, it's a big move. It's a big move. And I like it. <laughs> but again, because it's a rampage and run, it starts a swapping move. It's It caters to the whole swapping sort of thing. So whatever. Okay, resistances. Stun, swap prevention, and speed decrease. All of, all 50 and above. Yeah, these kinds of creatures, the, for, the for racket, forest rackets and others like it, all have these... Um... All have these uh, abilities to evade, uh, evade, and uh, evade stun and uh, evade attacks as well. So that's kind of no surprise for a unique creature as well. Both the swap, both the fifty percent seem a little bit low, but then again, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not the yeah, yeah, I'm not one of the devs. I I don't do the maths and stuff, so whatever. I'm sure they know what they're doing. <laughs> anyway, about. Forurex literally means carrier king. DPG members have taken to nicknaming this armoured forusaur something simpler, the Gryphon. Both titles suit the terrestrial super hybrid which carries its armour with it everywhere in the bony scutes around its skull and thick Lustrous feathers. Hmm. Scales within its feathers. I see. It does sound a bit like a zombie, doesn't it? With the uh, yes. <laughs> okay. We've got new creatures. So those I was saving up for you as well. Interesting to note as well. We do have uh, some new hybrids introduced, like the Rinchision. I think I think I've said that right. The Rinchision here, which is a legendary creature, and the Glyptoceras, right here, which is another legendary. These two hybrids 
use creatures that are landlocked, so to speak, that are, ge- well, not landlocked, ge- well, technically they are, but geolocked. So, uh, you can only glit, you can, ah. so it uses DNA from, a cre- like, the Glyptoceras, uses DNA from this creature, the Stegoceras, which is only available in the Americas, or the American continents. Okay? So... The reason I have it is because in my alliance, I have people from... There are people from America who have donated this creature... Well, donated... They have put their creature in the... Their, their creature in the sanctuaries so that other people like me who can't readily access it can uh, harvest DNA from it. And likewise, our land, our European landlocked creature, the... Um, Oh dear, what is it now? <laughs> I've forgotten what it is. It's 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 a it's a mimus creature. Struthia mimus. I think it's the Struthia mimus uh, for us. Uh, that's ours. So we should. So likewise, we've been able to put that in sanctuaries so other people can in the alliance can uh, harvest DNA from it as well. But there is a third one, and that is. The Rinchenia, I think the name is. Um, n- none of us in the Alliance have one of those, because it's only available in Africa, and Asia, and Oceania. So, Australia, New Zealand, mainland Asia, oh, Asia, and uh, Africa. Um, not n- Nobody in our Alliance is, is from there. So, um, yeah, we, we ain't got it. <laughs> But the thing is as well, the thing is as well, these landlocked, uh, geolocked creatures, um, we're, we've been assuming for a long time that they will only ever be uh, geolocked, and we won't ever get opportunities to have them any other way, uh, like in uh, events or, in- or um, strike towers or what have you. However... Now we've got hybrids from them. And when you harvest DNA from epic creatures, you get, at at the most, you get like five at a time, which isn't a lot at all. And epic creatures unlock at level 11, and it it takes level 15 until you can start fusing an epic creature into a legendary. So it would take a lot of harvesting in a sanctuary to get it to that level if you can in the first place so fingers crossed we may get that we we may yet get uh these uh geolocked creatures in events sooner or later due to these hybrids because surely Ludi you must know that you can't just readily do that <laughs> Okay. Who wants to see some battles? Any anybody at all? Holler. <laughs> oh, first of all, we'll get this Gorgosaurus. on. Gorgosaurus. Still uh, fusing for the Indo, not Indo, the Scorpius Rex Gen 3, which you do need a lot of Gorgosaurus for. Um, thankfully, I've now got the Scorpius Rex Gen 3, and... I think, if I remember right, it's still at level 24. Yeah! What did we get? What did we get? 2, 1, 2, 8! Of course, it was very far away, so if it was nearer, it could have got a lot more. And that to the stockpile. So now we've got 4343 3, 4, 3. Gorgosaurus DNA. Ready to go. Ready to contribute to Scorpius Rex Gen 3. Let's have a quick look round, see if there's anybody else. Oh, the uh, supply drops have regenerated. It's been 15 minutes. Well, of course it is. <laughs> okay. Right, battle time. Not just bat. Come on. There you go. Not just battles. You be the boss. We can uh, check out our new creatures as well. See how they fare. 
See, see, this is the nice thing about um, uh, doing strike towers with low-level creatures. The, I think this is the only kind of time, or the only type of thing that allows you to play around with stuff. And that should be encouraged regardless, especially when you're doing PvP battles. Uh, you should be able to play around with the creatures that you want and see how they fare, or create multiple multiple teams, you know, so, you know, team builds, and uh, see what you can do with them, and see how they work or don't work to the kind of battle, the kind of combat you want to play around with. But, of course, it don't work like that, <laughs> most of the time, uh, in this game anyway. So, you're sort of relegated to using the creatures that you feel have to yeah yeah you, you, you sort of end up yeah start again you end up using the creatures that you feel are necessary rather than ones that you want mo want the most like the spinosaurus gen 2 high spinosaurus gen 2 and the red bear and the baryonyx gen 2 hybrid that spinonyx that looks freaking amazing and if it was you know beefed up a bit more, it would be a hella good creature to use. However, um, it's just not used by anyone. And like I say, with this whole meta of the swap in now, uh, it's it's just not viable. So it's just not it's just not worth putting the effort into, you know, if you do use boosts to boost that. Or to uh, level it up, you know. So you just relegate the seats. Okay, both the new, both these new uniques use the swapping ability because, of course, they do. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to start with the trico first. Scolosaurus, crunch it. But guess what? You're going to get swapped in, boy. Oh, for a rending rending lock. Oh, no. <laughs> straight away. Kick it! Kick it with your feet. Now I'm going to go gentle. Because I'm level 21 and this guy is level 8. So, what shall we do? Let's see what that does. Cautious Cunning Rampage! 1754 with armor. That's not bad at all. Okay. Now, I can see this, uh, what's it called again? Lethal Rampage and <laughs> Lethal Rampage and Run is going to down anyone under level 10 with one hit, and, you know, guaranteed. So, I want to sort of hold back on that one a little bit. Right, I'm still locked down, so I can't jump, into, jump to the Cancer Palace to try that one out. Just yet. Daring Strike! One, two, five, three. Yeah, that's not, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. I can sort of tell already that uh, the Foru Rex is one of those glass cannon creatures as well. In that, um, emergency heal! How dare you, sir? Have a daring strike. Well, oh, all right then. Have another one. Yeah. You know, I'm saving the big hits for the next one, you know? Oh, it's a Velocity. Forgot this. Forgot it's a Velocity Rancid. Okay, we've got a good example of a couple of creatures here who, uh... Yeah, who you would call glass cannons. They can... They can take out... They can... They can dish out large amounts of damage, but defense-wise, they are weak as anything. <laughs> <laughs> Your father was going to say that. 2506 for the lethal rampage. No. Nice. And it went back to the tracker. <laughs> well, there you go. I do like that, that uh, kind of. Um, I do like that kind of uh, event, though, where you swap out to a creature whilst you've killed your opponent or done the finishing move. 
and then the uh, next creature it swaps into comes in, it's got nothing to do, so it just rolls in celebration. I like that. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I've done it. Okay, 309 Dilophosaur Gen 2, 30 Dilophosaur Source Rare. Alright, alright, not bad, not bad. But, we've got more strike towers to go through. Hey, we've got five battles to go through here. Hey, so, let's go for the Consecalis again. And the Foru Rex again, because we've still got lots to play with there. Get the Scorpius Rex Gen 3 in there. And, oh, where's the... Where's the new Epic that I just unlocked as well? I want to see what that's like. Even though it's an ugly bugger. <laughs> um, can you see it? Uh, I can't see it. Where has it gone? Oh, no way, it's level 11, isn't it? There we go, Megalitops. Alright, let's see what we can do. Did it do? Quick look at the power, 65%. Ooh, we've got some bite notifications as well. Uh, I've just started doing a couple more reviews on bite today as well, so... If you would like to have a look at what I've done today, go check those out. Oh, look at you, you Gandalf. Big beardy boy. Gandalf Koala. Gandalf Demon Koala. Wizard Demon Koala. Or whatever you want to call it. Okay, distracting impact. Go! See, I'm two levels above this Argentinosaurus. However, with the Argentinosaurus being a sauropod, they got to what? Ooh, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to attack as well. Hmm. What shall we do? Let's have a cautious run. <laughs> Chuck up the ground. Yes, success. That's what we like to see. All right, a few more battles. Let's get this party going. I'll keep this party going, should I say? Do 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 do. Do do do. One thing I keep forgetting to talk about as well is is the fact that there's going to be a Transformers geolocation game coming soon. Um, actually, I may have mentioned it before. If I have, I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, it's called Transformers Heavy Metal. And it's already available on like a soft release in New Zealand and Australia. Um, similar to what Moody did with Transformers But Transformers Heavy Metal is made by the same guys who did Pokemon Go. So, it's got a bit of pedigree to it in that sense. Uh, but let me tell you, I'm very excited for Heavy Metal. Not just because Transformers Heavy Metal is one of the best names for a Transformers project ever. <laughs> Shredding it if you tell me. Ah, you cannot escape! Uh, but you did escape. Uh, Alright then. Y'all do that. <laughs> you slapped that irritator in the face. Good on you, bud. Good on you. Alright, shall we go for the camouflage? Let's go for the camouflage. I've got an increased attack, but I'm also bundled, so I can't imagine what I'm going to get out of here. Ready to, Ready to crush! I could have gone for an attack then. Dang it! Alright, which one's that again? Cautious Rampant. Let's go! See if I get a critical! Come on! That wasn't a critical! Oh dear. Haha! You barely touched me! That's too hard! <laughs> that, that sounds like that context. Yeah. It's trying to impact! Yeah! Oh, now we get the critical. 
say, to be fair, I do like it when it enters the ring in a sense. When it's the finishing, well, the finishing move. When it's the last move of the match. That's when the critical is very nice. 200 coin, lovely. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Come on. Be the boss. Are, are you being the boss? I'm, I'm, I'm apparently being a boss because the strike tower said so. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a boss now. Okay, bye. <laughs> Nightfall. Not Skyfall. Speaking of which, hands up who's excited for no time to die! If you can't tell, I've got my hand up. Cool. Cool. Alright then. Uh, let's go for something different this time. Let's try... Do, 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 do. Let's go for the, straight for the Foru Rex this time. <gasps> the Demon Bird! Allosaurus? Allosaurus! How are you? <laughs> oh dear. Right, the cops are coming rampage. Go! One shot, one kill. Two, five, four, six. That's good. Good, uh, good, um, thing. Words. What are they? Hmm. Now, will I need. Probably not. Go for a daring strike. Oh, you're nearly dead. Oh, okay. Excuse you, sir. Ah, I knew you were going to do that. Ah, big brain the AI. <laughs> there we go. What, what does uh, Han Solo say? Being playing against machines is one thing. Yeah, being good against the living? That's something else. I think this raptor's a little bit dead. Oh, and you have the, 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 the critical hit to finish the match with. Now, I would have liked that swapping to be with the, 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 um, uh, what's it called? The, <laughs> the Compso Carlos. Compso Carlos. They, they have some weird um, and, yeah, they, they, mixes of names in some of these hybrids. But there we go. 188 coins. That was hardly worth doing it for. Darts, 5. Yeah. Dial off Sarge Gen 2, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. Postasuchus, 13. 13! That was hardly worth it. Okay. But, you got to do it. Complete the strike towers, because why not? But yes. I completely went off the tangent from the spooky map. Yeah. Uh, every so often around this year... Every so often. Around this year, Ludia likes to update the map. Well, jazz it up a little bit with a specific design. Uh, and around this time of year, it is... Pardon me? Related to spooky season. So that's why it's all dark and purple. Okay. What are we going to do with you? Hmm. Let's see if we can get critical with this one. We did! 2195. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ooh. Bit of a challenge for this one. Even though it's, it's less than half my level. But of course, Sauropod, they are very good uh, tanks. So, let's get at it. Take a few tries to get this mother down. That was a critical good, sir. I believe that deserves a big run. But what are we going to run to? Yeah, it's, like, it's going to be the skull skin, isn't it? Yes, it's the skull <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have to actually... 
manually swap to become to Carlos. Because I haven't tried it out yet. And I'm gonna try out the wings. Um, okay. Uh, the Irritator is going to do the Ready to Crush move, so I'm not going to waste an attack on it, because obviously it comes out. Uh, so I'm going to go for the Instant Ambush. Now the nice thing about this that kind of move is that it can stack, I believe. So, so with the swapping, I've already got some ambush going on, but now I've got extra ambush on top of that. And I failed to notice that. Uh, yeah. Well, now we can swap in. Let me swap in. There we go. Ah, oh, look at the kitties! Look at the kitties! <laughs> anytime you face these creatures, or anytime I face these flock creatures, I always find them a little bit more difficult than uh, the chubby. Uh, I always find them more difficult to take down than regular creatures. Mainly because, as you can see, in their health bar it's divided into three. And you always get three at the most. And because they are flock creatures, uh, certain moves and things can fall upon another creature if, if there's a slot available. So you could, if you if you are a certain level, they are a certain level, you could be fighting them for a very, very long time. <laughs> what shall we have? Let's just go for a simple attack. Root take now. I beg your pardon. Go for a gunning strike. There we go. Lovely. Yay, success. Success for the echo problem. Oh, got one more battle on this. Strikes out to go. So, shall we see if we can do it with all the comps of Carlos? Yet again, speaking to a very responsive chat. <laughs> Let's do it! Do it! Okay, be the boss. Once more. Once more, enter the beach, dear friends, once more. Let's go, go, go! Let's do this thing. Defeat three creatures! Of course. Great! Start straight away. The comes to call us. And that's a good shout because we have a Diplodocus. Straight away go for the alert scurry. See how much help. Oh my goodness! Well, that was a lot. Okay. Okay, an another glassy pond on you. Wow. Alright. Alright. <laughs> well, alright, alright. Okay, cutting strike. How much take on this one? Oh no! One's down! Hopefully, in these flock creatures, and the same goes for the tiny flies as well. Um, if you have a, if you're, yeah, a flock creature, if one goes down, then the residual health, the residual attack that it would have taken off the regular creature, um, it doesn't pass on to the other creatures. It absorbs, as you just saw that. Which is, a, which is very handy indeed. Greater emergency heal? Why? You're only prolonging it, man. C cunning strike. Get, get, get some, yo. The only thing is, because I barely use these flock creatures, I'm not sure which is the right. Hey, wait a second. I thought that was the fastest thing here. <laughs> Go for the hopping. The thing is, I can't remember which move it is to summon another creature. I think it's this one, actually, with a little spirit. Yeah, alright, high pounce. We'll take one out. Yeah! 
fucking chunks, yo. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. Oh, I see, yeah. Let's Okay, cool. So. No, no. No. Thank you. I forgot that uh, saying this, saying a slight, uh, anything slightly resembling what activates that device uh, activates it. Anyway, let's have a look at this thing. At least it didn't cut the blooming stream up for this time. Hey, <laughs> right, twelve fifty coin, fifteen darts. Super Mime is 799. Lovely. Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2, 83. Baryonyx, 22. Susie will be happy. There we go. So, it's two strike towers down. But as you can see, we've got one more to go. And when you see the amber strike tower, you know it's going to be a challenge. Uh, oh, well. 22, 23, 24. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I shall use my regular A team for this. So, Trichosaurus, Scorpius Rex, Gen 3, Eutaranex, and Magna Pirate Hall. Let's go! Now, if I had a busier chat, I would call for some hype and stuff as well, but. You two viewers, do you? <laughs> Alright, Eutaranex. Let's go. Diplodocus, level 24. Over 5,000 health. Now look it, we're both level 24. I'm not boosted. That's got five over 5,000 5, 5, 5, health. That shows you the difference a sauropod makes, because it's basically a health tank. So look at that damn thing. Alright. First of all, a distracting impact. Wow. Resilient strike. Alright, I see a resilient strike. That's made me vulnerable. Oh dear. Whatever will I do? Have you considered an instant challenge? With a critical hit as well. Nice. And I got the stun. Oh, yes. I'll tell you what, this is a good start. Ah, lovely. Lovely, lovely. lovely. I can... Ooh, dino fight. Where have you been, Jess? <laughs> oh, you've been sorting out your leg, haven't you? We've done, we've done like six battles, James. You missed them. <laughs> this is this is the hard one. All right. Sinoceratops with nearly 3,000 health. And that is over halfway already. So you strike. Oh, come on. Try it, try it, try it. Three, nine, three, six. Three, seven. Sorry, fuck. Cannot speak. Showering and shaving to look my best for RL. And making food. Alright, cool, cool. What's RL? I don't know what RL is. Oh, wait, Rocket League. Showering and shaving for Rocket League. Alright, well, if. if uh, I suppose it's a. I suppose it's a psychological thing as well. Cool. You do you. <laughs> Alright. Let's go for a stun. Streaming it. Oh, of course, you, you, you go on camp, don't you? I forgot about that. Triastronics. It's a big bad hybrid. Do you know what's bigger and better? Any of the. Oh. Turns out I didn't need to swap it out. I won. <laughs> comes in and be like, hey, I won! And I didn't do a damn thing. I, li I like those moments. <laughs> I use face cam, silly. Oh, well. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see what we got. We got 11,250 coin. Always handy. We've got, oh, for goodness sake, <laughs> 2,494 Velociraptor. Yeah, just look at that. I've got I've got over a quarter of a million Velociraptor DNA. I don't need it. <laughs> um, yeah, I could have done with some Monolophosaur Gen Two DNA for that one. 
Oh, speak of the devil. 3,998 Monolith Sword Gen 2 DNA. Thank you very much. Everyone say thank you for the game. It's done me a solid. That's, that's even more than the Velociraptor. I'm actually, I'm very happy with that, actually. Yeah, what should be like 50 DNA for bloody Scorpius Rex Gen 3. <laughs> Could populate the world with Velociraptors. Listen, James. As, as Dr. Grant said, they are out in force today. Yeah. Yeah, very, very obscure line. They are out in force today. <laughs> just look out your window. Just, just look at any magpie that flies past your window. Raptor. Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2, 189 DNA. Okay. Argentinosaurus 473. Handy for the hybrid, I suppose. And Sinoceratops 141. And Baryonyx 257. Susie will be happy indeed. There we go. So those are the immediate strike towers done for today. But now we have a bonus. We have a bonus thing to do. Because I said because Here we go. Scorpius Rex. We've got enough DNA to get some substantial uh, fusions going. Maybe even we can get the Scorpius Rex Gen 3 up to level 25. What do you say? Big heart. <laughs> it's, it's one of the most quotable single words from Monsters Inc, isn't it? And the, the, worst in, the worst mistake any employee can make is... <laughs> oh, no, what's the line now? Ah, no, no. And leaving the door open is the worst mistake any employee can make because... It could light in a draft. It could light in a child! <gasps> Mr. Warden is... See, now we're going to quote the whole film. Anyway, Scorpius Rex Gen 2. We've got, four, we've got over 4,000 DNA for Monolophosaurus Gen 2. And over 3,000 for Carnotaurus. How many multifusions can we do? We can do 20. Let's do it. 20! Oh, we got 80. Excellent. 410. Now, they could be better, but it's not still not bad. Okay, we've gone back down. <laughs> we've gone back down to less than 200 mile off soldier. DNA, so that, hey, that's not bad at all. We've got two, count them, two Scorpius Rex Gen 3 fusions. We probably actually won't get to uh, level 25, but we can give it the old college try. Of course it's a 10. Of course you're a 10 year bugger. <laughs> Ah, uh, dear. 20. Well, at least it's not a 10. It knows what it's doing. It absolutely knows what it's doing. Okay. So that is... some Jurassic World Live today. We're nearly 50 minutes already, and that is without the two failed tries early. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's check out the... Um, Dead by dead by dead. The uh, missions. Daily missions. Open, open, uh, open incubators. Well, there we go. Cash. Five, five cash. Lovely. Oh, um, J James, that's you. <laughs> You're in the stream! And let's see what's going on with the Alliance missions. Oh, look. Me, 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 me. Apparently, we've we've only got six people in my alliance, and apparently I'm the most active. Apparently, I'm the only active one. Oh look, my again, man, my doing stuff again. There we go, and there we go. Lovely. Got a rank one exploration incubator, which will give us Sarcosuchus Amphision. I think the name is Amphision. Yep, Amphision. Uh, got uh, Purusaurus Gen 2, Andrew Sarkis, which... Or oh, Andrew Sarkis? Sukas? Andrew Sarkis. Uh, for some reason, Andrew Sarkis is very prominent with uh, the most recent updates, for some reason. And and we've ended up with a lot of hybrids with Andrew in front of them. Weird. I've also got Gripasukas as well. Lovely. 
Um, end our stream. Yes, you were. Okie doke. I'm off to prep and eat. Hopefully see you for some rocket powered leagues later. Well, hopefully see you too, gents. I'm just about done here as well. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Cool. That was brief indeed, AMG. So I got, yeah, got the two in the shared sanctuaries. I th don't think they're hungry or hungry enough or bored enough to get full DNA selection from then. So I will leave it there. Uh, yeah, 50 minutes. Not bad at all. Thank you very much for joining us, if you have. And Mr. Sunshine, aka James, thank you very much for uh, contributing to the chat. Somehow managed to have a shower during my uh, battles as well. <laughs> and and a shave as well. Mm, guess, guessing elaborate. Mm. Yes, thank you very much for joining in. Thank you very much for being active. Uh, yeah, this is just a stream to get back into the groove, I suppose. And uh, hopefully see you, any of you, later. For stuff. Shenanigans. Anything like that. Uh, yeah, and this is and this is how I f and this is where I forget to this this is how I forget to sign off because what is life? <laughs> um, yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, stay Rawson to yourself and each other, or be Rawson should I say? That's the thing. Be Rawson, <laughs> not stay Rawson. See you again, forget. Um, oh, and 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 as always, wash your dang hands uh, and. Stay safe out there. Stay safe. Stay Jurassic. All that good stuff. And I'll will see people later. See you later. Yes, you in particular. <laughs> Bye. Get the thing. Done.